Hey everybody, Boone here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build the simplest LEGO RC car that I know how to build. It's coming up right here on Boone Builds. Hey everybody, Boone here. Welcome back to Boone Builds, where my goal is to inspire creativity for LEGO fans just like you. I'm going to show you how to build the simplest LEGO RC car that is able to go forward, backward, left, and right. It's not awesome for every purpose, but it has exactly 50 pieces, and uh, you can control it from Bluetooth. Here's what you're gonna need. You'll need four wheels and tires. You'll need two 14 long Technic bricks. You'll need one four by six Technic brick, two six long Technic axles, two five long Technic axles with stops on one end, eight Technic bushings, eight Technic pins with friction, six Technic pins with no friction, four 16 tooth gears, six 16 tooth carrier gears, a battery box, and two motors. The first thing we'll do in assembly is take this four by six Technic brick and put two friction pins on each end of each short side. Now we'll set this aside and work on the two sides of the vehicle. So we'll start with one of these bricks and a motor and we're going to put two friction pins into the motor on either side of the drive link there. We're going to put it one away, we're going to leave an open one at the end and go just like that. And then we're going to take our five long axle with the stopper and we're gonna put it three from the end, just like that. Then we're going to put one of these drive gears on. Stick this one through into the motor. One more drive gear. Then we're going to fill our carrier gears with frictionless pins. We need three on this side. And then these go right in there. Just like this. And then you can see when the motor turns, it's gonna turn this wheel as well. We'll attach a wheel to this axle. It'll turn there. Then on these ends, we're gonna need bushings and we'll put our wheels on. And then we'll finish it off with another bushing. And these outside bushings are important. I'll explain why in just a little while. And we are almost halfway done with the RC car at this point. That is how simple this RC car is. And you just need another exactly the same. These two assemblies are exactly the same, left and right. And we're gonna take that four by six Technic brick that we started with, clip it into this side over here, clip it into this side over here. And then we take our brick battery box, it goes right in the middle there. And then I'm going to kind of twist up the wires so that they don't get bound up in the gears or the wheels. Then I'll just kind of manage the cable up there a little bit and we plug each of these into the receptacles here. You can manage this cable however you want. I just twist it up a little bit. That keeps it out of the wheels. Now I can launch the Lego Powered Up app. This is very similar to the way that the Batman RC Batmobile drives. So I'm just gonna use this one right here. pair it and now you can see I can drive this RC car around I can steer now this does not have any this does not actually have steering wheels it does not have differential so you're gonna get this shuddering you're gonna get a little bit of shuddering when you steer but it can steer that's the importance of these outside bushings you see as as it turns this direction, so if this wheel's turning this direction, it's dragging this front wheel across, and it's gonna wanna push that wheel off, so that's why that outside bearing is very important. And again, you know, I said this isn't the best RC car, it's not ideal for steering, but if you just need something quick, and you wanna, you wanna drive around, be going in different directions, and you wanna be able to steer when necessary, uh, this is definitely a little RC car that will do all right for you. Let's see, here, we'll put it right here and we'll give it one of these. Woo, pretty quick. 
It also has a pretty decent amount of power. If I put some obstacles in its way, it can go right over. So please let me know what you think of this thing in the comments section below. What might you use this idea for in the future? If you want to see videos from me about LEGO multiple times per week, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you get notified when I go live and when I publish new videos here on YouTube. Thank you all so very much for watching, and until next time, go build something amazing.